So tonight on this episode of Making the Feel Good Juice with Anna, I should have my own cooking show, I'm going to show you how to make your very own feel good juice. All right, so if we have a look here, we've got the key essentials. We've got some goon, you know, pretty Alexia makes you sexier. We've got some uh, Jamison. Um, vodka also works if you don't have any Jamison. It's actually probably preferable to have vodka. And then we've also got some strawberry bock and we have some frozen berries. Now, as for the measurements, it's sort of a bit, you eyeball it really as to how much you feel. Um, so we first start off with pouring our goon in. Oh, now bear with me. I've got to figure out how we're going to do this. Okay. So. Da, da, da. Okay. All right. Take two. All right. So like I said, first we start with pouring the goon. So as I said, you generally want to eyeball it. Um, so just pour it in. I reckon, oh, yeah, that'd be enough. And then your next thing you need to do is pour in your jamison. So once again, it's just a matter of eyeballing it. Yeah, that looks all right. And then you need the lock. So once again, it's a bit more eyeballing. There you go. So... All of the liquids I'm putting in here are all alcoholic, by the way, so you're in for a damn good time. Now, looking for time. Oh, we just a minute. Okay. I'm going to pour in the berries. Once again, ah, get in there. It's an eyeball measurement. Now, once you happen to get all the ingredients in there, if we have a look at it now, we can see it's a nice berry flavour. Fair warning, those berry chunks, when they get all, like, blended up and stuff on the bottom of your glass... They are very, very strongly infused with alcohol. So it's a little a bit of a punch. Anyway, so the next thing we need to do now is obviously put the lid on it. So um, we'll do it this way. Just a lid. Right. So put the lid on, obviously. And get on there. Ah. All right. There we go. Now, the general... Um, the general rule of thumb with blenders, especially the like little mini portable ones, is instead of blending it like this, you see how you got your uh, solids on the bottom, you got to flip it and then let the magic happen. Anyway, so you let it blend for a little bit, however long it decides to take, and you just got to keep, you know, shaking it every now and then, and make sure your seal is on, your lids on properly. All right, there we go. It's ready. Are you ready? All right. So next thing we need to do is obviously pour it. So give it a bit of a shake. Take the lid off. The seal can go there. Taste it, of course, and then pour it in. Look at that goodness. And then, of course, all that is left for you to do is enjoy it. So, cheers. Happy Easter.